Hey, it's Tree, and I'm back for another video. Today, I am touring my 11th sketchbook. Disclaimer time. This is an old sketchbook. It's not brand new. It's almost eight years old since I've drawn the things in, the, in here. This is not what my current art looks like. I basically tore these old sketchbooks just for nostalgia's sake. But also, I kind of like looking at a timeline of my art. And if I ever decide to get rid of these sketchbooks, at least I have video evidence that it existed. Because I threw out a couple of early sketchbooks, so I've had more than however many I have now. And I kind of remember the drawings in those, but there's no pictures of it, so there's no way for me to know what my oldest art looks like anymore. But if you want to hear more, of me talking about my past with art. They're in my other videos. One of the things that's kind of weird looking at these sketchbooks now is that I used to be really happy with this one in particular, but now I'm not. <laughs> I used to think the art in these sketchbooks were so good, but they're not. <laughs> it's kind of weird how your opinions on your art change over time. So maybe one day in the future, the drawings I draw today, I'm probably not happy with anymore either. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my cat is messing with the paper bag under my bed. Anyway, if you know anything about my older art is that I used to be really into Hitalia, Warrior Cats, Homestuck, My Little Pony, and now I'm not as into those things anymore. Uh, I definitely wouldn't consider myself a fan of Italia anymore, mostly because I kind of consider it problematic after a long time of, like, dwelling with that series in my mind. And I still do draw My Little Pony characters every once in a while, but... Not as much as I used to, but I definitely would consider this sketchbook more experimental than any other sketchbook that I had drawn at that time. I was very much set in my ways of drawing what I like to draw and never branching out of that, which isn't really a bad thing, but it does feel kind of stagnant if that makes sense. And I know the works in this sketchbook kind of gave me practice for future drawings. But yeah, I definitely have complicated feelings about this sketchbook. And I probably always will have complicated feelings about my sketchbooks. <laughs> Some of the drawings in this sketchbook are also not even mine. If you notice a clear difference in styles, um, I used to let my friends draw my sketchbooks all the time. And then I just paste them in. If they like were trying to get rid of a drawing on a scrap piece of paper, I would tape them in because I didn't want them to throw. Kind of also gives me complicated feelings because I don't talk to those people anymore, but I still have their drawings. Another thing is that some of the drawings in here are definitely became digital drawings at one point, and if you see a compilation of like. We were cats characters. Those were definitely um, requests that he used to draw. If you don't know, I, I don't take requests. Don't ask me to do requests. But what I used to do is that I would sketch what I wanted on paper and either take a picture of it or completely redraw the same exact lines and paint to say with a mouse. It wasn't until two years later that I got my Wacom Bamboo Splash tablet. And only this year I got my Wacom, I mean my Huion Canvas 13. It's definitely easier to use a picture of a drawing if you're gonna draw with a mouse. But yeah, my I would strain a lot to draw digitally for the longest time. And I preferred to draw traditionally at that time. Now it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> Some of the weirder things in this sketchbook is that I would plan 
to draw things on certain pages, but then I didn't draw anything on them. So there's like blank papers, but also there's blank papers where I taped a color piece of paper onto it. But yeah, I was planning to draw something there and I never did. There's also a lot of blank pieces of paper in the sketchbook I noticed. Which isn't a bad thing, but when it comes to a sketchbook like that, this, uh, if I were to do it again, I'd probably draw a lot more. Because I very much get in the habit of trying to draw on every single piece of paper that I have in a sketchbook, which is kind of why they take longer now, but also, um, I just think it kind of looks better when pages are filled up all the way. But yeah, that's definitely a personal choice. <laughs> you don't have to fill every single page of your sketchbook if you don't want to. In fact, the sketchbook I started recently, I can't draw on every page because the paper's too thin. I feel like I've just kind of rambled about nothing throughout this video. Um, but then again, I don't have any particular feelings about this sketchbook anymore. I'm sure when I first drew them, I felt more strongly about it and could remember things. But now, I, I just don't remember those things. So it's hard to talk about things you don't remember. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on and on and on. That's all I really do on this channel. So subscribe for more if you want to see more of my older sketchbooks or my newer drawings. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one. I try to upload on this channel every Friday right now. And if you want to see other videos, I upload on my Tree and Sunny channel. Uh, Tree and Sunny Comics channel every Tuesday and Thursday, I think. And then I upload pages of my comic on Webtoons at the Pass every Friday. And of course, all my social media is in the description. But yeah, that's enough rambling from me.